Roger looking for the breakthrough for Gibraltar. And that's in here. Oh, that's a beautiful catch by Nice job, Lord. Nice job, Lord. Yes. It was well by. So top shelf was well purchased by one. Gibraltar Royals for a bottle of Hennessy. And he has already repaid <laughs> with a beautiful catch. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, man. So scheme with their financial guru, Beachy, back in the States, spending the U.S. without any caution. This is one of the big money recruits. The man called Gallimore. This man has 17 centuries and 22 half centuries with a career strike rate of 191. So the new bowler we have here is the man called Wazaras. Yeah, fix up the pitch, fix up the pitch. So Wazaras is the swing bowler for Gibraltar Royals. That's a good start by Wazaras. So the score is 24 for one. We're already into over number three. So Wazaras sponsored by Postscript. <laughs> you see no problem. Oh, ah! Who's gonna take it? Nobody oh, not talk, we're not gonna talk, 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 brother. I chill in on my no 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 not talk. I want to do man. So you could see no, 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 talk, brother. No, 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 to talk. another person and Wazaras is livid. Christ. That was a beautiful slower ball by Wazaras. No, 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 talk, brother. Chill on, you know, man. So the score remains on 24 for one with 3.2 overs, both so far. So once more, it's Wazaras. Oh, and that's a beautiful yakalet delivery by Wazaras. Yes, Wazaras. You could feel the breeze off Itchy's butt. It's almost like it's an AC. So once more, Wazaras looking to break this partnership. Oh, and that's a beautiful delivery by Wazaras again. That was an off cutter. See so you could see Ichi looking to tee off on the golf course. This is the man with a century in this tournament. Oh, and this is, this is experience falling by Wazaras. See him ball, Mr. Ross. From the moment he transformed from a Ross to a Wazaras. Yeah. His bowling has improved. Right. So, Wazaras. Oh, and this is serious bowling. Yeah. See him with Wazaras. Itchy is struggling because Wazaras is mixing things up. And that was a maiden over. So at the end of over number three, the score is 24 for one with Wazaras using the win. So this is one of the Mash twins. This is Mash dog. This was one of the leading Mickey takers, taker in the league. Previously, can he bring this his experience to the T10 blast? Oh, and that's a good shot, Oliver. Oh, and that's a wide. So the score moves to 25 for one into over number four. Oh, and this is good bowling. So you could see Mash Dog trying to test out the upstairs of the big bunny signing. This batsman. He's based in Zimbabwe, <laughs> but he was flew down 
by the scheme as King Private Jet. <laughs> oh, and that's a beautiful oh, shot. I never see that one. I never see that oh, one. Oh, he's off the mark. Crash, crash up Rocky Point. <laughs> <laughs> so the Zimbabwe based batsman has come off the mark because he heard that our resident video man ever slip media have a dancing duck for each duck's patient. Oh and this is good bowling. So it seems like Ichi didn't receive the memo that this is a T10 match. He's playing for bad light. Wall him see him where man, wall him see him where See him where man another wide. So the score is now 27 for 1 Into over number 4 So two legal deliveries Already bowled in over number 4 Alright, see him where side Brilliant delivery See him where side Mashdag. See him where side Much dog is a man sir Yeah Yeah yeah, that me says, sir. That me says, sir. Yeah, man, see him here. So the batsman is missing. Go, sir, man. Best player for all in Jamaica, you know? And Jekyll for 11. <laughs> With scheme struggling now at 27 for 2 into over number 4. And this is the man called Bump. This is one of the hard hitting batsmen in the previous tournament. Come on, bump him out! Caught him now! Ah, man, caught the man now, man! So Gibraltar of the scheme bat batting lineup pinned down at the top turn off. <laughs> oh, and that's a beautiful right. Don't make them just the pass. down the leg side. So you could see that Mash Dog is getting the ball to cut back sharply from outside the off stump. Jesus. Oh, and that's another beautiful delivery. What a ball! So that's the end of over number four. Schemas Kings 11 struggling so far. 28 for two with six overs pending. Can scheme fight back to put 100 on the board because 100 in T10 is a very good score. But Gibraltar Royals, the beaten finalist in the T20 tournament, looking to draw first blood. So can the big money sign in? Gallimore, who was purchased for 35 million euros, can he deliver? Here come Wazaras. Oh, and that's brilliant bowling by Wazaras. Yes, Romy, Romy, you remember the game there, Romy? Romy, you remember the game there? So the All big right. money transfer, will it pay off? Beachy Flex in the transfer kitty. Oh, brilliant, keep it by. <laughs> <laughs> so Gallimore so far seems like he has a lot of cobwebs you yeah every day two and four yeah yeah so here is Wazaras. Oh, and this is brilliant. In a gun. By Wazaras. So they are unable. In a gun, no man. Never in a quiz. So scheme looking for boundaries. Not looking to rotate the strike. Not with Wazaras. Oh, and this is good bowling. Oh, lick it up, lick it up. Good ball, good feeling, good feeling. Good feeling, sir. So finally, the 27 million euro signing. He has already faced 
six deliveries, only two runs. So this is the opening game in the tournament. With scheme, looking to post a total that they can defend. So far they are struggling. So who's a rush from the cold pass ahead? Oh, and that was smash! Deep into the pig pen stand for six. But the brother steal that corner. Gregory! So the score now 35 for two. Steal so you bump with Manu winning 3-2 is in fine form. And that's it. The man of the old part of the game. As God. Wait. Jesus God. The man of the old sir. So bump. The man of the old. Bump this. Him just of the old man. So we bump. Deserving the lock after Manu smash Liverpool for three two. Sir, hey, sir, one the match. So yeah, man, yeah, is yeah. Back with his final over. All right. Oh, and this is good ball. Your room, watch your man, no man. Mm, so the new big money signing, Gallimore so far. Seems like he's batting with a strainer. So Rajay once more. Oh, that smash. Look at that. Into the big pen, stand for six. Oh God. So the score now 41 for two. Team looking to yeah, step man. on the gas. Oh, oh, that's another brilliant shot by the big money signing, Gallimore. Big money signing. So that was smash. 17 rows back into the big pen stand. <laughs> so the score now moves up to So Rajay under a bit of pressure. I'm not sure if it's pressure cooker. was unable to catch that oh god he has a record of job catching oh and that was cut away oh and a quick signal oh that's brilliant but running oh god i come so watch him watch up a tree catch that to the man a four the score now 49 for two my god man so that's the end of over number six so with four overs to go, can scheme get up to the magical 100 meter? We have not to lose, huh? God. So this is this is experience bowling by Arpa too. So just wanna say welcome to the Top Town Sports Club, Teton Blast. We're expecting this tournament to be fire. Oh, and that was smash! Oh, oh deep mid wicket oh, for six. Oh, man, send him in. Yeah, right. If he if went to focus. So the score moves to 55 for two. The new one called Kian Bob. Looking to launch. So, can Gregory get the breakthrough? I will bump this patch him again. Oh, and that's you smart bowling. You catch him. Watch him ball. 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 Watch him ball
So we're into over number seven with the score at 55 for two. Can Gibraltar restrict scheme? Oh, All right. that was smart bowling and All right. slow delivery. Big ball, up or two. Big ball man, big ball. Wagwan man, Jagan Stout. So, resident committee to join the commentary here because we're expecting super games today. It's going to be giant commentary. So, Jagan Stout so far, scheme was a four stack. He's now on 55 for three. With three point two oh, overs to go, do you think they can put a hundred on the board? Come on, team! Come on, team! Well, bump. Transform from bump to Coco. Clean ball by Easy man! Easy man! Easy man! I brought that man! Easy man! The dog out here are trying to appeal to the umpire. Froggy batting in pink boots. by the umpire. Very intense game. Score now 56 for 3. We're into over number 7. Hey, I just say you Scheme. Are you next now? I am in my almost victory. Squad in the absence of Coach Beachy. Hoping to perform and to bounce back. After their... <laughs> money, 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 money. It's all about them. money. Along with Hyde. It's all about Tom money. Tom. All stars. He's saying check when I come in late. He's check when I come in late. Mash dog. I am in. I am in. Score 56 for 3. We have some special at the bar. Come and support the Mash top down sports Mash club bar. Four Magnum for $1,000. <laughs> Three Magnum for 1,000 Jamaican dollars. Four Lemon Beer for 1,000, whether hot or cold. Mash Cat attempting to scoop the ball. Mash Dog. And that's the fourth wicket for Scheme. I am in, I am in, I am in. And Kochi back to the dugout area without troubling the score. As Scheme continues to struggle. I'm sure they would hope to get more than just 60 runs on the board. What do you think, Bravo? At this moment, I'm not sure they can make 80 runs. But with Swelly at the crease and the big money signing in the man who in the pavilion, anything is possible. At this time, Swelly has one of the track record for the most ducks on this cricket ground. The last innings played by Swelly was trying to redeem scheme. Bravo. And that's another wide. And that's another wide signal by the umpire. And Mashdar comes up and bows to Swelly and that's a swing. Jesus! And it's a drop catch. And here's a chance for a run out. Swelly panic. For three seconds, Swelly panic because he thought it was another duck. God. I'm gonna love to see duck in a while. 
Danny, of course, we all know he's, the lead, he's one of the leading duck maker here. We have Father Kili joining the commentary today and the captain. And there's another chance for a run out in the field by one Saras. Was Saras Lego fullness? As much dog comes up and bows to Swelly. And it's a swing. Why? Frozen telling Swelly. They're telling Swelly to perform like he's in shades. Every ball is a lick. That's the message from the scheme dugout area. Frozen looking on. Gregory now setting up his field. Gallimore still. 27 million pounds for this T10 tournament. We all know scheme is like Chelsea in this league. As the GOAT continues to protest that GOAT lives matter. CJ Top Shelf organizing field as well. The man who ran. I was unable to stop because of the size of his belly. No problem. Here goes so Just making the new signing and he's now vice captain setting up the field. Job, top shelf. Come on, come on! And Gallimore missing out on the gift. Don't miss him on the to him. Romeo looking very nervous behind the stumps. Sure. As Gregory comes up and bows to Gallimore again, another swing and a miss. Gala, watch your foot to the Playing across the line is Gallimore. Very to over number nine, and the score is 60 for four. As Inzaman crying. Lots of changes to this tournament and format. There's a chance for a catch. Oh, and it's a drop Romy. by Romeo. Come on, Romeo, man. Playing with the ball as if it's a hot egg. Oh, my God, man. Hot Irish. As Gregory comes up and bows him again. And it's a slower delivery. So far, Gregory has bowled five deliveries, five gifts. And Gallimore not able to capitalize with Gibraltar Sugar. As Greg returns, comes up and bows to Gallimore again. That's another gift on another swing and a miss. And then it's a maiden over in the ninth over of the innings. And hopefully scheme will hit 6-6. Six, six. But it's impossible because it's Mashcat. Mashcat about to start over number 10. And Swelly on strike. As Mashcat comes up and goes to Swelly. And it's a hit. Inside out. That's a brilliant shot by Swelly. And that's the way to start the over. The score now 64 for 4. As Mashcat turns. Comes up and bows the swelly down the track to meet it and it's another four. And that's the class of former William the Opener, Mr. Williams himself at the crease. What a go on, man. One on the team. Of course, we all know he's a former opener for William. The bicycle comes down the track again to meet Mash Cat. Good comeback by Cat, signaling Swelly with the noise of. As Swelly unable to hit that one, Cat turns and comes up and moves to Swelly. It's a wide signal by the umpire, of course. The scheme dog out here appreciate that wide. It's now 69 for four. As Mash Cat comes up and moves to Swelly. Down the track, another wide. Swelly a bit flabbergasted by the sound of Mash Cat. 
That's my shot. To bow to Swelly again comes up and bows to Swelly a swing and a miss. Oh God, man. And another son of that. As Kiat continues, he's over. That was a brilliant delivery by Kiat. Reminded me of the match between Australia and India in the third test, where Australia thought they had India, but India won that match and the series 2 1. As much as comes up and most to again. Brilliant delivery. It's a quicker delivery from Mashkat. A bit of action like Mitch Stark. And that's the end of the innings for Scheme. 70 for 4. They should be a bit disappointed after over number 9 was a maiden over. And Romy will be very happy. So Scheme, Dragon Snout. Do you think this 70 runs is good enough based on the bowling attack that scheme of today? I believe this is not enough runs on the board. Scheme, on the other hand, would have to depend solely on their bowler, especially Tweety, as well as Frozen. We all know Frozen as the Frozen Sugar. It's almost like Man City and PSG. So, to be honest, I think this 70 runs can be competitive if the strike bowlers of Scheme get early wickets. So, it's important that Tweety get a early breakthrough. And of course, we're about to begin. And Tweety is the bowler to open this Scheme innings. As he comes up to the inform Romeo. And of course, the first ball. The first ball went to the boundary. Beating the keeper, Ichi, the hobbit. As well as the fielder, Fraggy. A bit wideish in the deep backward square area. We all know he's a leapfrog. But with that gap, Tweety not expecting so many, so much swing in his first delivery turns. Comes up and bows to Romeo again. <laughs> It was a high ball. And Romy was trying to get to get out of the line of the delivery. But here tweeted with a vicious shot delivery. And that's a wide. The square leg umpire said that full delivery was okay. So let's continue. And of course, we all know Tweety has the potential to swing the deliveries, but he's not bowling wide enough to get the in-swinger into the batsman. The wind not making it easy for him because he has the pace, so he has to cut the speed in order to allow the wind to take the advantage. And that's an edge. That's a tough edge. And the keeper is not tall enough to jump. Watch yourself in a row. Watch He's now batting in the church shoes, feeling in the church shoes, sorry, a bump. That's the shoes that made bump transform from bump to Coco. And now Tweety comes up and bows to Romy again. That's a brilliant delivery. And that's where Jekko advising Tweety to make sure those delivery goes. As Ice looking on his strike bowler, hoping to get an early breakthrough. It's a bit of pressure on to scheme because Romeo is the informed batsman for Gibraltar. Now the opener upgrading from number three, and that's a chance. Come on, Romeo. It was a half a chance. But the canary, the wings of the canary failed him in that instant. The wind is too heavy for such small wings as he turns comes up and bows to Romeo Romeo onto the front with a swing and a miss that was a brilliant delivery and that's the area that's the area he's advised to make those deliveries pitch and bounce and that's the end of over number one for our scheme so I want to take this moment to big up our sponsors so far for this deep and blast we want to big up bounce and cardell from v bonnet groceries as well who has come on board to make this league possible so now we have the man called jekko this was one of scheme first signing can he get the breakthrough mc dragon south all right 
not from what I'm seeing on this first delivery. It's as wide as it gets. Of course, he was one of the expensive signing last season. 45 million pounds with a 15 million buyout clause, but scheme did not meet the requirements. And that's inside out. That's a brilliant hit. And Carlos making himself known that yes, Gibraltar still have a strong opening pair. We all saw Romy upgrading from number three to now the opener facing first deliveries. We are no nervous Romeo can get. You can see his heart beating through his PSG chest. No dark to one. As Jekyll comes up and bows to Carlos again, a slower delivery. And that's and that's a wide signal by the umpire. And of course. So MC Jagan Stout. News coming in to the Top Town Sports Club transfer committee. Is that it's the man transfer from Gibraltar? To scheme because he wanted to win the title. Based on what is going on at the moment, do you think he made the right decision? Well, I can't say yes and I can't say no at this time. I mean, if you look on the transfer request, and that's another hit. That's in the slot, and that's six runs. And now the score is 23 without loss in just the second over. They are chasing 70. I know. And he's bowling, but that's a brilliant comeback from Jekyll. That's what 45 million pounds mean. And Beachy will be happy with himself, as we all know Beachy is on Skype. And also FaceTime, watching the game. Live coverage. We'll hear from the voice of Dane Johnson pretty soon. So, we all know 70 runs is already on the board. It's important that scheme take wickets right through this innings. Oh, and that's outside the off stump. And we all know that scheme was ruthless as well. They got rid of Labins after his disrupt, disruptive behavior in the scheme camp. He handed in a transfer request and without a doubt, he was transferred for 500 pounds of yellow yam to Red Hills. And of course we heard in the clause, there's an additional 300 pounds of renter. If, if of course Red Hills makes the finals, we will see the arrangement. So it's a performance piece. And in his salary, for every six Labins hit, he gets half pounds of yam. <laughs> so it seems like oh the agent of Labins was swiftly at work, finding out the final details in his contract. Yes, my YouTube family, it's just MC a notification to let you know. It I is think very this is to like and to share and to subscribe to my I channel. Speak. Coming from the notification bell to see the next video coming out, okay? This is the frozen sugar. And that's what we're talking about. It's right in the slot. And it goes for six runs. As soon as we mention the frozen sugar, it's melted like the ice cube in the hottest sun in the Sahara Desert. And Gibraltar looking on to win this match inside of half hour. As Frozen Sugar comes up and goes to Romeo. A swing and a miss. That's a brilliant comeback from Frozen. Doing figure skating. We all know the track record of ice. He runs faster than the whole. The delivery release from his hand. Look at his run up very fast. And the delivery goes. But that's a hit. That's a hit from Romeo. And that's 35. Without loss. Yeah, man. Captain Shining. And I is bowling a full delivery. All right, Captain Romeo. Shining. And Romeo is teeing off as if he's Jordan Spieth in his first major. Oh, God. Of course, it's Kane's side cricket at its best. <laughs> 
Oh, well, that's a good response by Frozen. You could see Frozen bend his back to get a vicious shot. Come on, Shine G. Come on. Nastral of Romy. But MC Dragon Stout, we, heard, we learned that when BG was here a few months ago, all the top players from Scheme received green card. And you could see that Heiss is showing off his green card, been traveling all over the pavilion so far. Not only traveling and showing off his green card, but of course it looked as if he got citizenship earlier than expected. That's a brilliant hit from Romeo. He is in form. We also have Beachy on FaceTime watching the game. Beachy disconnect the call because he can't believe such bowling from his team. Oh God. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Beachy disconnected the call. Now we're hoping Beachy won't disconnect because we're hoping to hear some live commentary from him as well. And of course, Ice, Ice in his first over, went for 18 runs, we are now joined by Mishana, who was a former faithful supporter of the scheme team, now joining Reddills as if she's a farmer, face getting very tough, planting red diam and afu. We also want to big up one of our sponsors, Eva Slick, with his consistent recordings of every game, live and delayed coverage as Ichidabit comes up, trying to hide the delivery. Umpire not phased by that delivery, said it's a legal delivery. So the score is 41 for 1. Just want to remind the fans that we have special going on at the Top Town Sports Club Bar. Three Magnum is for $1,000. And four of any other liquor is for $1,000. So check it out. Want to big up our sponsors who have come on board to make this possible. Come on, come on. We want to big up Barry Bar, Cardell, and Bounce. And of course, the commentary is brought to you once again by Magnum Tonic Wine. As Magnum trying to convince me that I should stop drinking Dragon. But of course, this is DJ Dragon Stout. Drugs Lord hoping to get some of the bat. But the now vice captain not able to get on pitch. He's a bit dehydrated, drinking the water as if he's sipping Hennessy. I'm sure that battle of Hennessy is finished. What do you think, Bravo? It's transfer fee. And a misfield by Karim. Nice man, nice, He's nice. Him down once again. <laughs> Unable to dive to his left. And it's four runs, even frozen laughing. He can't believe Karim could not stop that delivery. Right. And that's a swing. Nice. And another nice. hit for six. Right. And this is like yeah. training session for this Gibraltar team. We all know they're one of the favorites. Hey, we don't want no button, sir. <laughs> After getting rid of Inzaman, Inzaman on the field crying. He Where can't believe he had requested transfer from this big team to go to a downgraded scheme team who was in the group of dead. Unable to resurrect. Of course. Scheme now. Very disappointed with their batting. And in the comment area, we have Mishana joining us. We want to find out what's going on with all those speculation of planting Renta and Apu. Shot, shot, run one. And that's a brilliant shot and bump. He's a man. He's a man here. He's a man here. He's a man here. Mishana not. Mishana said no comment. So the speculation <laughs> seemed a bit true. Planting Apu and Renta. No time, yeah, sir. No time. So the score is now 53 for one. We're into over number five. And that's another wide by Tweety. We're, we're here in the comments here, looking through the contract details. Oh, that's a brilliant delivery. 
Interesting. Anything can happen at this time. Scheme has to use their strength and precision from the bowlers. 
as well as Ice need to show leadership on the field, not only when he's trying to swim. <laughs> and of course, the score is 65, only six runs required. Will Alex hit a six to win the game for, for Gibraltar? He is attempt to do it and he goes. Is it out? And the umpire says not out. Let us, we are now going to review the game, let us go. We now send it upstairs for review. Okay, let me see the front foot, it's okay with the front foot. Let me see the ball tracking, the ball tracking, there we go. Let me get um, a hot spot. And of course, and of course, I will remain with the umpire's decision. My decision is on the screen. And not out says the third umpire as well. Fang and his dog in a bit of mix up here. Fang trying to tell his, his her dog to go down. The dog says no way. And that's a brilliant shot. And a brilliant piece of feeling. So once more, Ichi up to arms. So it seems like Scheme is tearing down the barrel of defeat. But the good thing about this tournament is that they have four more games to get things right. So Gibraltar at this moment with their foot in the throat of Scheme as Kings 11. And of course, it's very embarrassing the way the match went so far. Come on, Romy! Romeo still not out. Shine, P! Come in, shine it! And Romeo has contributed majority of the runs, leading from the front, and that's a white signal by the umpire. Captain Shinehead. Come on, name. Captain Shinehead! We're into now over number seven, and the score is 66. Only five runs to win. As Jekko comes up, and most Romeo trying to finish in fine style, and it's another wide by the bowler. And that's a very sloppy. Bowling from the scheme team. And of course, Jack's not on the winning end so far. Scheme steering down the barrel of defeat. Romeo trying to finish off the game in fine style. Come on, the front. Romeo! But Jekko is bowling very well so far as well. So, Inzaman was on the beaten finalist. And, oh, yeah. Yeah. and of course, Kim goes on the first game of defeat. And this is the reason why Labens requested to transfer. And of course, we are now going to discuss Inzaman's contract. In his contract, bravo. Inzaman Ulak, but in the end, to leave a beaten finalist for a team that hasn't... ...of death. It was a very disappointing display from Scheme and a brilliant piece of batting from Romeo after crying losing to the finals of the league to Reddills. Bouncing back to the All-Star, League All-Star champions who defeated...